Hey, this is Scott Insight Freedom. Here is the uh, range test, the first 20 through the Snowflake Melter 6.5 Grendel. Uh, this experience has been so much fun. Of course, you, you get to experience uh, different retailers and, and their um, ability to handle getting things to you, uh, communicating with you. Um, Sanders Armory really blew me away. I had personal communication with both Diane Sanders and a personal phone call from Kelly Sanders uh, just talking about some of the the pieces of, of this upper and uh, they ended up with a with a different barrel than I'd originally intended which was back ordered I knew that was going to take some time but they, they really came through in the end optics planet was really all over the board mostly good most of the stuff that they shipped out of the six pieces I ordered through them through the United States Postal Service or UPS 2 Postal Service came within two to four days the one order that they split two pieces out of three came through FedEx to UPS and took 10 days not so good uh, the only other thing that I did order was I did order through um, Davidson Defense the upper build kit as well as the uh, James Madison tactical black ops flat trigger uh, they had an issue with the black ops trigger then ended up taking close to two weeks from order to delivery so here's the range run and some footage looking from and we'll look at the targets after I'm through. Just using the uh, bipod and my shoulder to stabilize so not not completely stable again using the uh, black and the cases are ejecting right over there about 15 feet let's see if I'm looking down range probably about a four o'clock ejection pattern so they're like landing over here next to the next bench about 15 feet over and I'm not getting the uh, bolt to lock back I think probably I have uh, overweighted that adjustable heavy buffer so we'll take the uh, titanium weight out of there and go with just the three steel next time and uh, if three steel are still too heavy, I can throw an aluminum and two steel and kind of work my way back from there. That's kind of the beauty of that system. First three. Second three. Actually, the first couple shots weren't even on paper, so I looked down the bore, recentered off the bore. And then came over here and did this group right here on somebody else's old target. And then I fiddled around some more, but I ran out of time. And the last group of two That's what, about two inches off target and pretty small. So all in all, I'm pretty impressed with this gun. It'll be fun to actually uh, experiment with it with loads and stuff. That was just using that Hornady Black ELD 123 grain and uh, first time shooting it. I'm using the C Products 10 round mag. All in all, I'm pretty impressed with this uh, Sanders heavy profile uh, 20 inch stainless steel 5R uh, match barrel for sure. Looks like I can probably work with it a little bit and maybe get a little more proficient with it. I was just using the bipod on a bench rest to shoot. I didn't have my lead sled set up so next time I come back I'll bring the lead sled and play with it a little bit more and try to work on accuracy on it. Thanks for watching.